Now, weather with Chief Meteorologist Jamie Warner. Well, today was the day where we started melting off snow, at least in areas that had sun, and that was primarily areas near and north of I-44. So we take a look off to the west at Buffalo Run Casino in Miami, Oklahoma, and you can see uh, conditions are looking quiet there. Temperatures are actually above freezing at this stage. Here in Branson, though, we're finding cloudy skies, and there's been some hints and rumors of snow near the Branson area. In fact, we've had some snow actually occurring. I've seen a couple of pictures sent in. I'll show you those here in a second. It is 28 degrees so if we get some snow we are going to find that snow sticking on the rooftops and the car tops and maybe even on the roadways this is a, a picture that was sent in by Jesse Cadell a little south of Shell Knob you can see the snow building up on the road right there and you can kind of see the light snow falling also a photo out of Ozark have had several reports of snow in that area enough to cover the ground and here's that snow band uh, that we have seen this afternoon right now it extends from about Nixa southwest through Galena uh, we've had light snow reported in West Branson for about the last three hours. Looks like that's beginning to come to an end, but that snow band does extend to south of Shell Knob and in northwest Arkansas. Now, areas further east, it looks like the snowflakes should be flying here, but I've talked to some people in these areas, and, and right now they're not reporting snow. And the problem is we've got quite a bit of dry air in the atmosphere that this snow is having to overcome. It's done that here in southwest Missouri. Further east, I think it will do that overnight tonight. In fact, the storm is now beginning to mature. You can see the upper level storm right here just to the east of Little Rock. And oftentimes these upper level storms, when they are fairly strong like this one, you will get a band of precipitation that will develop on the northwest side of it. And we are now finding that taking shape across north central Arkansas into south central and southeast Missouri. And I am expecting snow in those areas later tonight. In fact, that's where I think we have the best chance at some accumulating snows. Now, the snow will likely continue into the morning hours past sunrise, at least over the eastern Ozarks, before it quickly recedes off to the east as the storm moves away. And we should find sunshine taking over from west east very quickly. Thursday morning. In terms of snow totals, I think west of Highway 65, very little, with the exception of, of Stone County down into Carroll County, where I think there could be a dusting. I think areas east of Highway 65, areas like Lebanon, Ava, uh, down into Yevil, there's going to be a chance here for maybe a dusting, although this is going to be very localized. Further east is where I think we have the best shot at some light accumulations of snowfall, particularly east of Highway 63, where two to as much as three inches of snow is possible. Areas like Rala, likely looking at one to two inches, same in Salem, uh, same in eminence, but a bit further east. And I think we're looking at amounts maybe of around three to as much as four inches just east of the viewing area. Overnight temperatures, that's a little tricky too. We've still got snow on the ground and where skies will clear out overnight tonight, that's going to allow temperatures to once again crater. I think 14 in Joplin, I think 16 in Stockton, Monette, Lockwood, probably about 15 or 16 degrees here in Springfield. I think we're looking at about 20 degrees. Meanwhile, areas to the East where we have the cloud cover, we are going to have some light snow, but we're also going to have warmer readings with lows there in the mid 20s. Now tomorrow, temperatures start to respond to that sunshine and southwest winds, a high of 45 in Springfield. So Colorado score beginning to climb again with a six expected and the pattern going forward, generally speaking, looking better if you want some warmer weather as the pattern will flatten out across the nation next week and that will cut off the cold supply to the Ozarks to some extent. Also want to point out there will be a storm moving into the western U.S. by Wednesday that will impact our weather on Thanksgiving Day. And here's the long range outlook for Thanksgiving, expecting scattered showers with temperatures in the 50s. So at least not wintry weather on Thanksgiving, but it does look like it could be wet at times. Your 70 forecast right there. Uh, Friday looks to be the pick day of this week. Highs in the 50s and sunny skies, a nice day with light winds. Saturday, another cold front dropping south of the area will increase clouds and drop temperatures. We may be able to sneak into the low 50s before readings fall back in the 40s during the afternoon. Light wintry mix looks possible on Sunday, not expecting major impacts out of that. And then next week, you can see how the temperatures start to climb again. And you can also see Tom Turkey there uh, peeking in from Thanksgiving Day. Well, I'm looking <laughs> at that forecast on Wednesday, and that's decent for all the folks getting away for Thanksgiving Day. Yeah, I think so, for travelers yeah. on Wednesday, locally, weather conditions look pretty good. Mm -hmm. All right, and what's our viewers club number tonight? Uh, number tonight is 163243, and our jackpot is $600. Jamie, thanks. Well, a reporter at 